Hey guys, it's Scott from Forgot to Grow Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today I'm going to be talking about Season 1, Episode 12, Seeds. Alright guys, so for those of you who are new to the series, or those of you who have been here before, you already know this, but I'm just going to give you guys the quick IMDb plot summary for this episode, so you have some idea of what I'm talking about, then I'm going to talk about some foreshadowing elements that came up throughout this episode, then finish it all off just by general thoughts before we finish the video off. So let's just get started with that IMDb plot summary, so you have some idea about what happened in this episode, but I'm sure most of you already know. But anyways, the IMDb plot summary for episode 12 of season 1 says... Uh, Ward, Fitz, Simmons, and Sky go to a S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy to investigate an attack upon students, which was done with an ice machine, a device that can freeze people in their surroundings. Seems to be kind of implied in the name of ice machine. Um, during their time there, another ice machine goes off, freezing cadet Donnie Gill. Though the agents are able to save him, Fitz later gets to know Donnie, seeing much of himself in him and helping him to solve a problem with a new power source Donnie has invented. Uh, the team learns that Donnie and his fellow recruit Seth Dormer? Dormer are behind the ice machines and that the power source Fitz helped him to perfect was for a larger version of it. Uh, meanwhile, Coulson and May head to New Mexico, not New Mexico, Mexico City, two different places, Mexico City to find a former agent named Richard Lamley. Uh, who tells them about a mission 24 years earlier involving an 084, who turned out to be Sky. He warns them that she is dangerous, as many agents, including his partner Linda Avery, died trying to protect Sky. After meeting with the rest of the team, Colson relays the uh, what Lamley revealed to Sky, which who is devastated at the revelation. Donnie and Seth activate the larger device, causing a huge ice storm that Seth hopes will impress Ian Quinn. Ian Quinn's back, that's right. For whom Seth's father works as a lawyer at Quinn Worldwide. Realizing his mistake, Donnie attempts to shut it down, but a bolt of lightning destroys the machine and puts Seth into cardiac arrest. Uh, May tells Coulson about her sexual relationship with Ward. Coulson says he trusts her to handle herself responsibly, but adds that if becomes a problem to which she replies she will break it off. The team apprehends Donnie but is unable to save Seth's life. On his way to the sandbox for observation Donnie realizes that the explosion of the ice machine has given him cryogenic abilities. Now, those are ice powers. Uh, in the final scene Ian Quinn receives a call from Coulson warning him that if his aircraft flies over any country that is a shield ally it will be shot down. Before hanging up, Quinn gives a message to gives Colson a message that the clairvoyant says hello. Dun dun dun. So as you guys can see, a bunch happened this episode. Uh, a lot of little foreshadowing elements, a lot of just cool elements in this episode. One of the first things I wrote down was uh, we see at the beginning that Agent Weaver is the one who's the head of um, the Shield Academy they're visiting and. The reason I wrote that down and brought that up is she pops up throughout the season a few more times in the series in general. That's one thing I do remember. I do have good faces for some of these people. I never remember any of their names, but I do know she pops up a few more times. I don't remember exactly what, though. But she does come back. I know that. What else did we got? We got Bucky Barnes' name drop right near the beginning as well. So when Sky's checking out the Wall of Valor at the Shield Academy, and she reads off Bucky Barnes, which I thought was a really cool little nod. I always love those little, those tiny little tidbits, or tidbits, tidbits of little things that connect it to the MCU. Um, so what else did we get in this episode? We see that Coulson is still obsessed with his death, even though he's learned about a lot of what happened. He's still conflicted about the information he was given. He still doesn't 100% trust that Fury has revealed everything about what what happened with his death. And so he's still kind of, we see that he's still investigating and that. And I'm, st I'm on his side. I still want to learn a little bit more about that, obviously. Uh, we, we learned that Fitz and Simmons were the youngest graduates of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy, which I thought was a really cool little thing. Maybe we already knew that in the first episode, but... I didn't remember that exactly. I thought that was a really cool little fact that, that I picked up on finally this time in the rewatch. Um, there was a name drop of AIM, which I'm just like, I know that's something from the comics. I don't remember its S.H.I.E.L.D. reference. Like, if it ever pops up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at any point, is that something that they... Let me know in the comments below, guys, if, if you know how AIM ties into this all. I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia later, but I'm curious to see if you guys remember any connections into S.H.I.E.L.D. more than it's just it being name dropped because it's from the comics. Um, but what else did we learn today? Uh, we got um, 
Like I said, Ian Quinn came back. We got the second appearance of him throughout the show. I know he comes back a few more times. I don't remember exactly how his storyline or story arc completes. I think he somehow connects into Hydra, but I'm not sure. That one, guys, leave as a mystery. I will learn about that during my rewatch. Okay, guys? We also figured out that a little bit more of that connection again right from the first episode or the second episode I should say not the first episode it was the second episode when they're investigating um an 084 Coulson had made, made a like little little jet well not jab a little line towards uh Sky referring to saying that yeah like you you know when they're talking about what a, uh, an um 084 is an object of unknown origins and I like that this episode we kind of we get that a little bit more we get to like Coulson we get the the the, the whole story in a sense, not quite the whole story yet, but we get a little bit more of the story of what happened with Sky and how she was the 084 and for somehow this whole team of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents and the whole village was killed with like trying to protect her and I really like to think about that now because in hindsight we're just like, yeah, that was S.H.I.E.L.D. And that was Sky's dad Trish trying to find her, right? Right? Am I right guys? Or was it somebody else? That one I can't remember either. That one you guys can let me know. Is it Sky's dad that did all the killing of all the agents, or was it somebody else? Or was it Sky's mom? Huh. Let me know in the comments below, guys. I'm sure one of you guys know that out there. What are some other things I noticed in this episode? Um, oh, and then just at the end, we have Coulson finally revealing to Sky in this episode that he had been kind of lying to her, that he hadn't revealed everything that he had learned about her past, and he finally, in this episode, when he's gotten more of the pieces, he finally actually just kind of gives it up because he's he's kind of tired of the secrets. He's he's this whole thing about the secret being kept about his death from him is really worn on him. It's it's kind of worn on his trust to shield, which I really like in this episode. I think it's a really good way of kind of like building up in the season, the like especially when we finally get that reveal that Hydra is a big part of shield. I like that the kind of resistance, like, oh, maybe he's just kind of resisting some of the parts that were a little bit more uh, Hydra oriented. And it kind of makes a little more sense why Nick Fury would be so secretive with so many things. Maybe he had that same suspicion that something was going on. Something wasn't quite right. We all know that a little bit from the Winter Soldier um, movie that uh, Nick Fury's character obviously had always kind of suspected that was going to happen. But I like that in this, Coulson, Coulson's doubting S.H.I.E.L.D. And obviously he doesn't know about Hydra at all. But I like to think that in hindsight, so not that right now he's not realizing, he doesn't even have any, he doesn't even have Hydra in his mind at this point, but I like to think that after Hydra gets revealed, maybe he makes, that's what kind of lets him trust in S.H.I.E.L.D. again, still trust in S.H.I.E.L.D. because he's like, oh, those, those things I didn't trust about S.H.I.E.L.D. before were because of Hydra, but that's also me, that's just my own theory, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves because that's, that's when Hydra gets revealed. But that's all the foreshadowing things I had written down on my notes. In general, I really like this episode. I like, um, I like to see that we get to see um, Fitz shine a little bit, getting a little bit more connection, talking a little bit more in general, feeling a little more comfortable with the types of people he's comfortable with, which is fellow academics, scientists types. And so I really enjoyed this episode for that aspect. I also like that you see the, the kind of that rivalry between so Ward being an operations guy and you know Fitzsimmons and them being the science and tech people I really like that like aspect of it it was really fun little part of this episode and I just enjoyed that we got a bunch more little puzzle pieces to a few of the different puzzles that we're looking into I wish we got maybe a little bit more into Coulson's death but I know we learn more about that throughout the season so I just have to be patient with my rewatching. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys this week let me know in the comments below if you guys noticed anything that I missed or if you guys have any comments about something I said that may not have been 100% accurate but as always guys thank you for joining me today and have a nice one